Well, hi there. This is Shane from Shane's Books and Review, and I hope you are having a great day today. Today, we're going to be talking about Clone Wars. This was wrote by B.V. Larson, and it is narrated by Mark Boyette. A quick note about the narrations. Mark Boyette, as always, does a remarkably good job with the narration. The production quality is, of course, what we would expect from Audible. Some of the things about the book. We've had a big head that has been coming to fruition over the last few books. So in Armor World, we had some stuff that happened where Earth has been getting more and more in the middle of this fight between the Galactics and the neighboring places like the Rigelians, which are these little furry bear things about two or three feet high that are just really mean. Then there's this new introduction of the things called Ska, which are big moon-shaped hollowed out entities that are AIs, but they have little living creatures inside of them that are kind of like wasps that take care of their stuff. And the last go around, our main character, he had figured out how to blow one of those up. They're also, Earth is kind of stuck in the middle between the Ska and the Mogwai because the Mogwai were our original original quote-unquote masters in this universe and the Ska are pretty well tired and they're going to exact revenge on the Mogwai. So we got just a hint of backstory on this one. There wasn't a whole lot of new stuff in Clone Wars or Clone Pearl like there was in Armor World. By that what I'm talking about is like the backstory of the Mogwai or the reason why things are happening or there's a galactic throne that some creature should be setting in, but nobody can agree upon who it is. And this one, it's more of, we end up having our main in this. He shows up on the world of the Rigelians, and he's butt naked and moons everybody and blows his cover immediately. Uh, it's full of the zany stuff that we would expect from B.B. Larson. There's a lot of comic relief, uh, but I felt like this book wasn't serious enough to need all that, in my own humble opinion. So, James McGill, he, of course, has a little bit more of his antics with Galena. Their on-again and off-again relationship, it shows itself in this book as well. It's him flirting with a couple of different girls that are in there. So there's that. That stayed true. But it's one of those things where, you know, every once in a while, it's good to have that payoff. But then the book after it, it's like, oh my gosh, why didn't we get any more detail than what we actually did? Or why didn't we have any more of a payout than what we did at the end? I mean, don't get me wrong. James gets stuck up in the middle of everything and has to save the day yet again in between using his mouth and all that. And with the way that the book wrapped up, it again left things kind of open, but not, you know, the day got saved, yay. But sometimes there needs to be consequence. More so than just, if we don't pull this stunt, if we don't pull this off, then we're going to... Sometimes there needs to be, oh, you got your hand in the cookie jar, let's put your knuckles on the table and let's hit them with a ruler. I mean, in this series, that's kind of the mentality of those galactics that are the rulers of everything. And I really don't see them being so relaxed about what all happened, especially whenever it seems that one of their territories is being traitorous. They would probably put an exact end to that crap right then and there. So it might be time that that series comes to a conclusion and a new one gets wrote. I remember Swarm World, I forget the actual name, names of those books. It'll come to me after I get done recording the video, but Swarm World was wrote by B.V. Larson as well, and I have to say, as far as unique ideas, that book, the first one, was incredibly cool. If you've never read it before, it's definitely worth looking into, just because of the different ideologies and the way that the book was set up and the different tech. It was just a book of discovery. Same thing with the next few, but it got to a point where there were so many of them that it just got really bland, because everything had already been said that needed to be said, and I hope that's not what happens here. So I'm going to do the question of the week a little bit earlier than I usually do because I think this is an excellent question. If you had kind of wrote yourself into a corner where it's either got to be absolute death of the entire society of XYZ or XYZ overcomes all and then the third possibility peace with warfaring societies and the way that they've been wrote in this universe really I don't think would be a possibility. Anyway, what would be your choice? How would you work it around? I'd love to know. Please tell me down there in the little comment box area. Along of it all, what are some of the feelings that this book brought out of me? Well, a little bit of annoyance, <laughs> if you can't tell. I mean, don't get me wrong, I liked the book. It was enjoyable. I've actually read it twice, but there's that whole thing of, let's get to the point, and that's something that hasn't happened here. There's been a lot of payouts and payoffs in this series, getting up to the point where we're at in it. There's all kinds of creatures, there's all kinds of things, there's a whole universe that he's created with this. I don't know how well a side book within that universe would go over, I don't know how that would work, but 
beyond the, the annoyance factor there for myself personally, and I don't expect everybody to feel that, sometimes it is nice if an author will stop with the verbal diarrhea and get to the point. You know, just get to the damn point. Let us know what it is you want us to get to. It's set up so something big can happen. Let's just see if it does. And as far as the next book goes, I've got, like I said in the last video, I've got a few that I've been working on. Uh, so the next one will be Serpentine. Serpentine is a very odd little book. It's wrote by Thomas Thompson, and it's narrated by Mike Chamberlain. And then uh, Legacies by F. Paul Wilson, which is book two of the Repairman Jack Saga. And then I've got one from Lynette that I have not ignored, but that I need to finish and I just I haven't. It's The Dry. Uh, it's been a very interesting book. It's a lot different than a lot of American authors. And that's one of the reasons why I've been enjoying it and just taking it in a little bit at a time. Well, beyond that, I got stuff I got to get to. I hope you guys had a great week. I hope your upcoming week is just as good or better or incredible. Like, share, subscribe. This is Shane with Shane's Books and Review. And I will see you in the next video. Now, which one would you choose, I wonder? Will it be this one? Or will it be this one? This one or this one? I don't know. Whichever way, I'll see you in the next video.